Hey, Cypher here. The Assassin's Creed game series is kind of famous for its historical inaccuracy, but there is one inaccuracy that has hounded the series from its very inception. The beginning of the game series depicts Crucian times, as in the Crusades, and of course is simply called Assassin's Creed. I remember being excited to play as a medieval assassin, but we never got that game. Instead, it's all about something completely unrelated to the actual assassin cult, and I was very disappointed. Of course, they got away with not even talking about the real ones, because it seems like most Americans don't realize the origins of the word assassin. So here is another engaging etymology episode about this cult of awesomeness. As an aside, there's a lot of Arabic names in this, so I apologize in advance for my mispronunciations. During the founding of the Muslim Empire in the late 7th century, called the Caliphate, Islam split over who should be the ruler of the Muslim world, called the Caliph. This split has reverberated throughout history, and we still have major fights between Sunni and Shiites, and that also separated the Caliphates. Even with that still being a bloody rift, there are further religious splits that have made a historic impact. Among the Shiites, or Shia sect, there is a split between the Twelvers and the Ismailis, whose contention lies again over who was the legitimate Caliph, further down the line though. This fractiousness is important because it led to the creation of the Naziri in the 11th century. While this is a large group today, it was part of an internal political struggle of a failing empire. The once mighty Fedimid Caliphate had been pushed back to Egypt by other Caliphates. The Naziri fought with the Mistali and the conflict spread throughout the Muslim world. A man named Hassan i Saba founded a cult of followers who would act as a fighting arm of the militarily-less Naziri, sometime in the late 11th century. Since it was originally such a small group of people in a distant land, Saba's followers chose to focus on attacking individual leaders rather than entire armies. These people would go on suicide missions to slay important figures of the Naziri's enemies. Originally based out of Alamut in modern-day Iran, this order of killers spread quickly among the Naziri lands. These guys did fight during the Crusades, but not as depicted in the video games. They were social outcasts and known for their willingness to martyr themselves, which means they did not blend into the populace at all well. Furthermore, they killed non-Naziri Muslims far more often than Crusaders, and were not engaging in some epic struggle with the Templars. They were a cult of fighters who defended their sect of Islam through fairly unconventional tactics. But how did Saba's order of killers become known as the Assassins? The name was originally meant to be derogatory. Since they would martyr themselves for the cause, they were thought to get high on hashish before going on the attack. So the word hashish-in was used to describe them, which eventually morphed into Assassin. Internally, they were known by a few names. They were a ranked order, so the highest person was called the Grand Headmaster, followed by the Propagandists, the Companions, and the Adherents. Of the Adherents, there were the people who sacrificed themselves to assassinate their enemies. The Arabic word for self-sacrificing person is Fadai. This is where we get the modern word Fedayeen, which also originates with the Order of Assassins. The term Fedayeen warrior is used now to describe any irregular or guerrilla Muslim fighter. So there's another etymology for you. The main reason why we know about all of this is because Marco Polo popularized the cult with his incredibly important book, simply named The Travels of Marco Polo. He describes meeting the old man of the mountain, which is supposed to be Saba. But Paulo wasn't even born when Saba died. Despite that, the story caught on, and we now use the word assassin in everyday discourse. The Assassin's Creed games are silly and actually kind of addictive, but have nothing to do with the real assassins. It's too bad, because I would have liked to see that. Anyways, it's kind of funny how the etymology of a word can have such a significant impact. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out some previous episodes. I'll see you next time.